Yes, Alex and Marla, of course, we all know that kids can get COVID, and sometimes it can be quite serious. So the question before the court is whether the risk of alleged side effects of kids wearing masks outweigh the benefits. About the virus. Ezra is only six years old, but he knows what COVID-19 is with some help from his mom. And he places a mask covering on his little face with ease. His mom thinks it makes good sense. Good job, buddy. I'm vaccinated, so I have the choice not to wear a mask. The cho children can't get the vaccine, so I think it's just for their safety to keep the mask on during school. But a growing number of vocal parents strongly disagree. They're part of a group called Let Them Breathe. They demand parents have the right to decide if their kids wear a mask or don't wear a mask to school, regardless of their vaccination status. The group is suing the state of California. So our group is pro-science, pro-safety, and pro-smiles. We are here to bring mask choice to every child. Uh, the science has shown that children have an incredibly low risk of contracting, let alone spreading the disease. I'm more concerned about the short-term and long-term effects of mask wearing. Public health officials defend their policy, stating the data and science are unequivocal. There's no substitute for in-person instruction, and California's COVID-19 prevention strategies are the best way to fully open our schools while protecting students and staff. How are you feeling about your odds? Uh, we are confident because we know that the law and the science are not on the side of the state right now. And our, our legal team already uh, was successful challenging these same types of restrictions uh, during the school closures. Meanwhile, the American Academy of Pediatrics has weighed in. They represent some 70,000 pediatricians, and they have called for schools to enforce universal masking mandates. And, of course, the reason for that, they say, is a large percent of the student population is not yet eligible to receive a vaccine. Laura Diaz reporting live from Long Beach. Now back to the studio.